Hello, YouTube. Liverpool fan in Japan. It's Miyazaki Mansai. Alrighty, we're back in Champions League action. The fixtures come thick and fast. We've just beaten Wolves 2 1. Grinded out the three points. The points are the most important thing. Draws are no good at this stage because draws are one point. Win three point. You need three draws, three matches out of your fixture. After your calendar, you'll never catch up to Manchester City and Arsenal. So we've got the points on the board, and now we continue our European adventure against. Bologna, Bologna no longer under Thiago Motta who's gone to Juventus, they are okay, they're plucky, they've won one, they've only lost one, they've drawn quite a few games, hard to defeat them, not necessarily lose to them but hard to break through and defeat them. Now Arna Slot mentioned in his Liverpool pre-match press conference, music to my ears, I would follow this man through the trenches, you know why? He speaks with clarity, he speaks with precision and he speaks exactly the words that you want to hear about our beloved Liverpool team. There were 15 minutes of mediocrity, unacceptable performances from the Liverpool players, the Liverpool first team players that played in the Premier League because they gave away the ball in promising positions and they gave away the ball in positions that could have led to promising, promising positions as well, the game winning scenarios and Slot found that unacceptable. He mentioned in your daily life, in training and in the match, you have to be switched on every single second and give 100%, 110% every single moment because only then do you deserve to wear the liver bird on the chest. That's what it means to be a Liverpool player. He has embraced the Liverpool philosophy. He's embraced the harmony and surroundings of the Liverpool and Anfield atmosphere. The Liverpool faithful. And he adds his own touch of class, his Dutch flair as well. Sure, he's not as emotive, and as outwardly passionate as Jurgen Klopp. But then again, there's very few that are. However, he's very tactically adept. He speaks very, very well. And what I found from these interviews is he's able to convey his concepts, right? He's able to explain and portray the actual scenarios on the pitch to the players in a way that they will understand in a very calm and very concise manner. Now, it's up to the players to decide how they react. But Arnold Slot mentioned as well, these players also have it within them and they have to have it within them as Liverpool players to want to give their best in every single moment and win things for Liverpool. Sure, they are working hard in training. Sure, they have a lot of qualities. Otherwise, they wouldn't even be at Liverpool. Watalu Endo, for example, Curtis Jones, for example, Jarrell Kwanzaa. It doesn't matter how many minutes they play. They wouldn't even be at Liverpool or given the opportunity to make the match day squad if they did not have the sufficient quality that Arnold Slot is looking for. And to, for him to even give them minutes and pay them the appearance fee which is multiple thousands of pounds they are all in his plans and will all be utilizing which is why we will go into the Bologna lineup from Liverpool's perspective very very soon but you see Arna Slot has raised the standards he said that he and his staff his backroom staff have to show the way to these Liverpool players that you commit yourself every single moment every single day for the cause it's so hard to get any minutes in this Liverpool team because it's a team of quality but as a Liverpool player you have to understand that that is your place you have no god-given right to get onto the pitch to get any minutes however keep working keep plucking away and Arnestot will use you when a match necessitates your particular skill set and your functionality Champions League and the cup runs are really really exciting because it gives an opportunity for not the fringe players but alternative players because Europe and the cup competitions have different demands whether you're playing lower leagues whether you're playing continental opposition and in Bologna we're going to have to fire through their multiple layers, their banks of four, even 5-3-2 on occasions to penetrate the back line and create those game-winning scenarios. And with that in mind, I will go into the game lineup, the first team lineup match predictions very, very shortly. But it's my birthday. It's my birthday on the 9th of October. For those of you who mentioned uh, you want to send me some stuff, I will um, give you my address in a DM in, in the Discord if you want to send me anything. I might even do a live stream either for you guys on Discord or, or the members or on live on YouTube, I don't know the format yet, any uh, any things I can receive on time and my obviously my, my gifts here from my loved ones, my family, my friends, etc. in Miyazaki, Japan as well, Anfield of the East, the fortress. I might open it all up, just have a catch up and chat with you guys, a bit of a QA and a and a bit of a banter session, all good fun, right? You know me, I love to chat. This is the best community on the web, Liverpool fan in Japan community. All of you guys are absolutely lovely and I will be announcing the winner of the Liverpool Windbreaker Jacket Competition. Everyone who said Gambo de Eto for his sports day where he kicked some serious ass and won the day for his class. I will be announcing the winner. Actually, Eto will be announcing the winner later on in this video. So keep a watch out for that. And for anyone that does want to join in the banter in the chat, please do join the Discord, right? I've put the QR code there and the link is in the description as well. We chat every single day and Ash, my man, 
thank you for for your membership from before um the goodies are in the australian post box for you now to go and collect right i've sent you the details as well and welcome to the newest liverpool fan in japan member han we are almost there 100 members one and done we will make an exclusive goodie with your shirt number and your exclusive nickname or persona name choose your name if you're a member in the discord as well one and done when we reach 100 then I will start commissioning the goodies, producing it with your name, your nickname, and I'll send it all out to you in, in due time as well. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, right? We're on target for 10,000 by the end of the year. That's the biggest target uh, so far. We're coming up to the anniversary of this channel now. I think this channel was created 10 or 11 months ago, especially in terms of when I first released the video. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit 8,000 October, 9,000 November, and then a magical 10,000 December. Off we go. So... Yes, Arnasa also mentioned in the um, press conference that McAllister talked about the freedom of the players, but he laughed about it. He said, when we don't have the ball, the players have no freedom. You get back, you get into shape, and you perform your function and your role. And that's been one of the key ingredients of the Arna slot, slot machine. Up the shiny one! The tactical shape and flexibility of the system allows us to transition from offence to defence flawlessly. Almost flawlessly. We have conceded one or two, but it's been half chances and snuff chances and snapshots. The opposition have had to work really, really hard to get an opportunity against Arna Slot's slot machine defence. And it's a beautiful thing to see transitioning from the three in midfield to the two at the base to the one joining the attack and the overlap from a fullback as well. It's a beautiful thing to see. I love it. And in offence as well, Arna Slot just mentions, kind of similar to Pep Guardiola's philosophy, I build the tactics and the system and the function and tell the players what to do to get them in the right positions and then it's up to the individual quality to make the difference in that moment to choose the right decisions to close that scenario, that game winning scenarios and end it with a goal or a goal contribution or whatever. So he will work the system to get them up into a point in time where then it's the players intuition and individual talents to take over, which is why it's very important that the players have the talents and attributes to begin with to do his particular system. This will become very, very relevant as matches go on, especially with the fixtures piling up, that when he brings a player in, it's not asking Endo to do what Graven Birch does. It's not asking McAllister and Curtis Jones to be imitations of each other. It's taking advantage of the player's individual attributes using them for function to deliver the game winning scenario slightly complex theorem but um all good hopefully you guys um appreciate what i'm talking about okay let's get into the lineup now then so under the bright lights in a european night at anfield Alison Becker, number one, comes straight in as long as he is fit. I think you need leadership, you need quality. We're playing at home, we want to get ahead in the match as well. We need to climb up the new Champions League fixture table. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold starts for the same reason that Van Dijk starts. This is a leadership team and the prominent players who will hold us firm. Now, it's a big toss-up. Most people think Konate will start, but fixtures, congestion, lots and lots of players are, are playing for their place at the moment. Kwanzaa was trusted to start in the first Premier League match. A European defensive opposition. Konate did start last time and came to the equaliser in Inter Milan. I do have a sneaky suspicion for Kwanzaa, you know, um, for the fact that Kanate will need to be rested on occasion as well. Who knows how he will cope in international fixtures. He isn't even first choice for France. However, um, just in case, I think Kwanzaa is good enough against a Bologna team that are middling in attack. And you remember mid? Man United, right? Last video. But yeah, middling in attack. And I don't really trust Costa Simicas. As do I, the Scouse Greek, he's been massively underrated. I remember a lot of fans wanting to ship him out in the summer transfer window. But the Scouse Greek is defensively solid, reliable, puts his body on the line, quality left-footed delivery as well. Left foot gives balance in terms of being better in the rondos and the quick one-two passes. Positionally very, very good. And in a system where he doesn't need to bomb forward too much and it only gets to this kind of position here, right? This kind of position here and allows Lucio Diaz and Gakpo to do his thing. He doesn't get caught out so much, right? And he's a system player and he can join the base of the midfield because he is somewhat similar to Alexander Sinchenko at Arsenal in, in that regard, but better defensively, quality left foot as well. I think Simcast starts this. So the, the query is who starts in the sixth position? Now, if we go full strength, we know it's Graven Birch, McAllister with Soboslai there, but sneaky feeling for Curtis Jones in this particular match because Curtis Jones did his place no harm running through sliding the ball through the lines as well showing his aptitude for Arna slot system Watanu Endo has a chance to start as well for the fact that Bologna right Bologna will probably sit back but on the odd occasions that they do break forward Endo has a pretty good interception rate in terms of stifling the opposition's attack and getting us back on the front foot. Now, Graham Birch is the one that can break the lines, hold it against a severe press, but I don't imagine that Bologna will be pressing as intensely, as intensely as Premier League opposition. But saying that though, European opposition, 
hard to break down. Graven Birch has the ability to run through the lines. I think Graven Birch starts this match. McAllister is the balance. He is the tempo. The balance and the tempo to keep us going throughout the match. Now at Anfield, we need the ball to go through. Sobersai is the one that needs to get the goal tally up. Now, do you play him to get his goal tally up or are we talking purely Premier League? First and foremost, one guaranteed name, I think, is this guy. It's Mo Salah. Obviously, in the absence of Federico Chiesa, Salah is the one you'd expect to really be the, the superstar, the main man in terms of getting in and amongst the action to score the goals, whether it's a left foot Travella pass in or his own ability to cut inside. Now, if you play Salah and Trent in half space here, then naturally you would expect a Soberstein to go around the outside here, but this could be McAllister. If it's McAllister and Soberstein, Soberstein's on the right and McAllister on the left. If it's Curtis Jones and McAllister, Curtis Jones plays left and McAllister goes on the right. Tough decision, tough toss up, and it also depends who plays up front. Now, up front, Diogo Jota coming through the two days of missed training, trained today, apparently and yesterday so he should be in contention but Darwin Nunes is is ready to explode on European stage we've seen how hard he works he's brought into the slot system and he is ready to explode at any given stage a slot will keep the faith of him he's got big big potential and I think slot likes him as a player as well and I'll do a dedicated video as I promised very very shortly on him but this this conundrum here is is very interesting but you almost always play McAllister even though McAllister will be playing uh, in international fixtures as well McAllister can be taken off if we're doing good but he really offers something that none of our other players at the moment seems to offer and that's absolute balance and dominance in all areas of the midfield this line and this line and this line as well he's just so game intelligent and he can act in all, all facets of the game so do you want to get on the front foot do you want to get a lead in the champions league or do you give this opportunity to give curtis jones a stage to shine as well right so started every match correct me if i'm wrong and he's obviously a quality player but he really needs to convert those key opportunities because he is one of the game win conditions getting him into the box i think with Nunes up there, it's a possibility that Jones starts, you know. And as I mentioned, if Jones starts, Jones goes on the left and McAllister goes on the right, right space, because McAllister will be tasked with covering for Salah if Salah goes into the inside position, because you don't want him too wide. It means that Trent on occasion will be the one to overlap. And this will be interesting as well, because Trent will have the ability to get into the eight pocket here and dominate play from this position, obviously traversing from that position here with McAllister covering. So it'll be interesting to see. But I think that is the probable lineup alongside Cody Mattis Gakpo because Gakpo firepower galore they can't stop him from coming aside they can't stop him from shooting and when you have Nunes and Gakpo on him with the delivery of Simicast to hit the front post to hit towards Nunes to the back post to cross it over to Salah to work his angles and Trent as well right Gakpo and Nunes are pretty formidable in the air with the physicality as well and Trent in half space to hit in amongst the back as well the interesting thing is Jones as a roaming playmaker when Jones plays right who is going to be the predominant playmaker between McAllister and Jones it'll be very interesting to see because this gives McAllister the opportunity to sit in the 10th position and work his magic from here because we know towards the last part of last season McAllister really dominated and put his stamp on the games but Jones in the last few weeks has shown his ability to ball carry forward and play in those slide rule balls Jones in fact plays more percentage through balls on the ground than any of other any of our other midfields it seems apparently with Simcast offering the balance Van Dyke covering for Simcast giving you more confidence Graham Birch being able to break through the lines as well on occasion you might even see Graham Birch in that slot as well and these two trying to break the lines in and amongst the sixth position of of Bologna Gakpo we know what he's all about physicality pace delivery he's actually really good at going any outside as well so my lineup I think is Van Dijk, Kwanzaa, Simicas, Trent, Graven Birch, McAllister, Jones, Salah, Nunes and Gakpo and I think we will win this and we will win this fairly comfortably I'm going with 3-0 I'm going with 3-0 at Anfield and Nunes to score Gakpo to score and Salah to score one each for the front line. I was tempted to go double for Nunes, but unpredictable. Nunes, Salah, Gakpo, one each. Why not? Let's go with it. So let me know your lineup in the comments below. What do you think of our chances? What are your score predictions? Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you especially to all of the members who are supporting this channel. We're well on the way to 100 now. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, Han, the newest member. Special shout out to Joseph M, Jamie R, Christian Debs, P, Leonardo, Juan, Elusive Glue, and Captain Has. We're going above and beyond. Miyazaki Mama Mai has just released Chapter 4, Endo Book Duel, the translation in English of Endo's experience in the Russia World Cup with the Japan national team breaking through and becoming a fixture there and how he overcame the mental barriers and his philosophy on himself and the team to become the player he is today. 
So without further ado, Ato is going to announce the winner of this Liverpool Purple AXA Training Academy Win Breaker Top Ato Sports Day. Your Gambode Atos have a looky looky. He's going to announce it. Just have a peek. Gambode Ato, you can do it. Let's do this. And this lovely picture was from Kim. Gambare the cool, you can do it, my boy. Let's go. Gambare. Gambare eto kun. Gambare eto. So thank you so much for cheering on my little man, Mushroom Boy Ato. He's absolutely delighted. This is why we're the best community worldwide, the kindest, the most thoughtful. You made a little Japanese Mushroom Boy, four years old, very, very happy, and he competed his little socks off on Sports Day. Okay, Ato, take it away. Thank you for Gambare. Danny Rennie's best. Thank you. So he has chosen Jamie Rennie's entry, the teddy bear, probably swung it, as the best one. So that's coming to you, my friend, very, very soon. We're going to do giveaway at the end of the month as well, maybe even before then. But until then, i got a piece of kit to satisfy myself. Just came today. Let's see what's in this box. Actually, I have a lot of previous ones coming, but this only came in today. So I got it in hand. Let's see what we got here. It's a package in a package. It's a blue. So yes, Jamie, let me know your um, address in the Discord. And I'll sort it out. And what is this? This is black. It's a tracky top, isn't it? Black and gold. Okay. Can you see Can you see the little insignia, the symbols? There's the liver bird in a crest. If I put it up close, can you see? Can you see? Ooh, ooh, smells strong, but I love black and gold. Black and gold representing. Yes, look at that. The Adidas strike. That's got to be an Adidas top, right? Let's have a looky. Adidas, LFC crest it's kind of heavy it's kind of heavy as well so it's not a um a light windbreaker kind of thing it must be like a winter winter tracky maybe the anthem suit or when you're collecting the trophies obviously we are the champions actually looks quite good open as well isn't it so let's whip that bad boy on and have a looky looky okay there we go arna slot would approve of this a shiny one i love me some arna slot led liverpool fantastic fits like a plum should I give this away? Actually, I like this one. I'm going to keep this one. If I have any duplicates, I do have a duplicate, by the way. Um, I have that one as a duplicate. So that one will go in a competition very, very soon as well. So yeah, make sure you join the Discord. Smash a like to get this video seen. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm even. That's a very, very fickle thing. Unless there's likes and comments and interactions and a long watch duration. People click on the thumbnail, watch the video and watch it to the end. Then YouTube thinks that video is a stink and untrue. So thank you for your comments, likes and helping me with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you enjoy the match, the match tonight. I unfortunately can't live stream this one because it's 4 a.m. kickoff for me. <laughs> but I will be back and live streaming the Crystal Palace one and we're going to be bigger and larger than ever because why not? Let's do, a give Let's do a giveaway in that one as well. I'll think up some competition, some fun interaction we can do. I'm making the stream better and better every single week, adding more and more functions and features and interactive options as well. Thank you so much for watching this channel as always. Your support means the world to me. My birthday's coming up 9th of October, celebrating in style. Also, it's a one-year anniversary of this channel coming up very, very soon as well. I think I started in October on, or November last year. I'm sure I did. Not quite one year yet, but we're almost there. Nearly 8,000 subscribers. Much love, peace, and all to all of you guys. Enjoy the my translation of Wataru Endo's book. The vlog translation is coming very, very soon as well. He's giving his thoughts around only having a few minutes from the bench in opening games of the season. What he thinks of Arna Slot. Van Dijk's contract, let's talk about that very, very soon as well, as well as Trent's contract as well. Chiesa is unfortunately injured for this particular match, but it's only a small injury. He has a chance for Saturday, and then it's the international break where he'll recuperate and come back fresh and aplomb as well. Jota's not injured, thankfully. Elliot is the only injury sick note apart from that, but he'll be coming back very, very shortly as well. Foot fracture. Um, what else do I want to say? Honto ni arigato gozaimasu. Daisuke minasan. That means really, really thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Really, really appreciate you all. Every single one of you. I reply to your comments individually on my own. Uh, don't worry, guys. I never delete any any comments. I, I just don't do it. If any of your comments disappear for whatever reason, it's YouTube moderation or flagging or whatever, I just don't do it. I don't have the time to delete or moderate or do anything like that. If someone wants to be a moderator on my channel, feel free. Pick, stick your hand up. You can keep my channel nice and clean. But I encourage debate. No flaming, no toxicity. You can be harsh to the current standings, our performance, our form, our chance of a season. Completely fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I don't moderate anything. So, um, yeah, open forum. Feel free, please comment. Let me know your thoughts on the match. Enjoy the match. Until next time, Miyazaki man, Ichiban, it means the best. Janet, ciao. Liverpool fan in Japan.